all right guys welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new hyundai ioniq 5 2023 version this is the brand new full options that comes with those digital mirrors uh, instead of a normal standard mirror it will come with the cameras here and also a lot of sensors and in the interior of the car i will show you a little bit later when we go inside it has two screens on the both sides that replace the mirror and there you can see uh, in the back it's phenomenal i mean i drive the car before and it's just lovely guys of course i will have a separate video full review interior exterior with the same car so if you want to see the full review technical data uh, and all that uh, information about the multimedia i wait you next days on the channel by the way, if you're in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out parisiaautomobile.ch uh, if you want to buy the car, if you want to see the car. I will leave also the link in the description of the video so you can check out there more details about the car and also um, the price I will give you right now. Now, guys, there are a few changes here and there. I will try to explain you in the full review video. So if, if it's not already on the channel, click the subscribe button to see uh, when the review will come out. I want to go inside the car because here is much more interesting. It comes also with these seats that you press just one button and you can fold it all the way on the back. It comes with so much technology. And in my opinion, Ionic 5, it's kind of the best deal with what it offers and what you pay you know i mean it's incredible how much technology how much comfort and also now it comes with this incredible glass roof that is all over the roof there but more about that in the review video now the price of the car this is full option keep in mind this is vertex that means full 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 option it comes with a four-wheel drive system two electric motors and the total price is 72,150 francs included with winter tires for free i mean you don't have to pay for them this is the most powerful version 325 horsepower 605 newton meters uh, the estimated range 481 kilometers VLTP it comes with the newest technology 800 volt on the battery the maximum charging power in CCS DC 350 kilowatt it comes also with onboard charging 11 kilowatt hour uh, V2L technology i will explain you in the review video what is this uh, also led light in the front in the back uh, head up display directly on the windscreen great head up display a heating pump that's great in the winter to save a lot of energy and also yeah a lot of a lot of things 360 degrees camera yeah more about that android auto apple car play more about that in the review video guys i don't want to lose the time i want to drive the car i want to give you my feedback on the car on this most powerful version 0 to 105.1 seconds incredible fast and also the the weight of the car 2200 kilograms and i think those are the most important information for the driving so uh, i will leave this here also i noticed that these seats on the right side come also with this technology that you just press a button and it will fold all the way down armrest perfect driving position electric adjustable seats of course and look at those incredible mirrors the quality the resolution is very good i was super impressed to see how good the resolution is in those mirrors and you can adjust them the same as you adjust it in a normal car so you just go here right and then you just adjust it up down depend how you want it and it, they work really fast and also on the other side the same story you can see how easy you can adjust them just like that super cool and they are not just normal mirrors let me put the seat belt let's start driving guys put the seat belt here is the stalk to change the gears let's go in driving but if you go in reverse for example you can see that the the car the the mirrors are changing and it shows you also a nice graphic down there so you know if you hit something or you're not hitting something if you go in reverse a little bit look at this it will warn you that the car is there look at this super super interesting before it warned me but it, it's it's really clear i like how clear it is the image anyway if you go and drive you can see that they are kind of uh change as you drive uh forward and they will change the 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 view when you go a little bit um faster really interesting they are kind of smart mirrors i i should call them 
the head up display it's also great i think you see it before on the normal version when i did the test drive also this 360 degrees camera it's wonderful i mean it shows you everything on the ground you can see down here you can see perfectly you have also a button uh right here that it will open up the camera so you can drive with the camera on as well the driving feeling it's it's very similar with the with the previous normal version but uh, it's super comfortable you have a perfect driving position i like the fact that uh, different driving modes you can change it from this button so you have echo normal and sport mode and from here i will test it all uh, right now it's in sport echo and normal mode super easy to change those things um, and also very simple to change different views there to kind of reset the consumption you can just press ok and then it will reset all the all those informations um, and also you can go through the menu very simple there also it shows you so nice graphic there in the front lovely i mean it's it's a lovely car probably you know this uh, ionic 5 it's the second most sell electric car in the world first one it's tesla model 3 and this one it's second because it's really really good um, it's a great car great visibility outside um, the most impressive thing is that first of first time when i tried those mirrors camera mirrors was in audi uh, electric version e-tron but now when i see it on hyundai it's it's even better i feel like they are they are much better you have great visibility i like them i have to tell you that i like them it's quiet inside the car it's really really quiet you hear a little bit of noise from outside but it's, it's very quiet i feel like the suspension are great mcpherson suspension in the front independent multi-link independent on the rear great great suspensions you have also some pedals behind the steering wheel guys where you can uh, shift the recuperation and change the different levels of recuperation also by the way the car come with this camera when you blinking left and right it will show you a nice uh, camera there so lovely lovely view and also from here from those pedals you can choose the level of recuperation you can see in the corner there it comes with the i pedal that mean one pedal drive or also you can let the car rolling and it's just rolling like that it's it's wonderful and i like that the mirrors are kind of in real time it shows you a really really nice graphic there um they are the same as mirrors and it's a little bit easier to look on those cameras that than it is to look in the mirrors because it's much closer to your view so you can you have kind of your peripheral view here and you have your view in the front but in the same time you can see in the left here um, very close you don't have to go all the way on the left or all the way on the right so you just check out really simple and easy overall uh, the steering wheel is also light it's easy to drive it feels quite agile and also the great part is that you have kind of a tall driving position than in a normal um, sedan car or hatchback you feel a little bit taller like a crossover and this is something that i like very much you can see i'm much 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 uh higher than uh, Renault Zoe for example or a Volkswagen Golf you change the different driving mode if you go in sport mode right now here immediately you feel like the car it's super responsive and here if you want to accelerate oh, oh, oh boy 605 newton meters oh you really feel it. it's really push you back in the seat and also I feel like the car have a great great grip wow Ooh, it's great and you can recuperate more energy from here you can choose one pedal right wow and one pedal it's quite powerful much more powerful than my tesla model 3 so when you release the pedal it really feel like you recuperate more 
it's, it's quite a, a powerful aggressive recuperation and I like that very much I like that you have these different um, modes to choose from in terms of recuperation right now look at this it's incredibly powerful I like that and if you want to let it roll you can let it roll just like that right now you don't lose any energy to the heating process to the friction process and this is the thing that's missing from uh, tesla cars but overall oh boy and also in the curves it's doing lovely 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 if i'm not wrong it has turning radius 12 meters nice nice over the and also now the steering wheel is a little bit more stiffer in sport mode if you change the mode in normal mode it's much more soft oh i like it it's it's so nice it's so comfortable and it's it's much more quiet inside the cabin than in than in tesla lovely now guys i want to test out actually i want to show you this new um cruise control the car come also with the cruise control that it's really really good lane assist kind of autopilot and you can see right now it's on it shows you also on the head of display and also it shows you on the cockpit and right now the car holds between the lanes hold the speed between you and the car in front um, and it's doing a great job i tested before and it's working very good so it's it's one of the best you can see right now the car will break because the car in front will break and it's acting the same as um, as tesla autopilot let's see now here it's kind of a hard 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 curve okay now you have to take the control so it's great on the on the highway but keep in mind on the on the small roads like this it's very hard um, even Tesla have big problems on those kind of small uh, cities and small roads but overall it's it's a good system on the highway it's working wonderful yeah overall um, the steering wheel is great many things inside this Hyundai Ioniq 5 are the same as will be on the new Hyundai Ioniq 6 um, for example steering wheel the mirrors uh, the buttons a lot of things are very very similar let's go back to sport mode and now if you want to accelerate oh, wow it, it really push you back in the seat nice wonderful and also the brakes i feel like the pedals are super smooth and perfectly connected through the the motor and the the brakes it's just incredible the transition it's so smooth you don't even feel it it's just wonderful yeah i i, I almost forget how good is how good and how easy is to drive this Ionic 5 wonderful car a great grip on the steering wheel very good quality very good view on the screens here um, nice nice car nice 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 car go to one pedal drive again right now activate the autopilot set the speed here it's very simple from here and now the car will do the job for you you don't have to do nothing it will drive for you it will keep between the lanes it will accelerate it will brake also you have a very nice graphic in the front there change it to echo mode and if you want to deactivate this autopilot you can do it very simple from here the lane assist and autopilot lovely and also those mirrors are, are super super nice now it will turn around here actually we'll go a little bit forward and then on the first road we will turn around
on the head-up display it's also wonderful I think you can see it there directly on the windscreen it's just just perfect Here we have to park you can see the camera here it shows you the blind spot so it has so many features safety features there and it's so so cool man I mean I love the way it looks and if you go in reverse right now it will show you the reverse cameras and not only you have the the reverse camera but you have those camera in the mirrors camera from upside and also look at this you have also this uh, blind spot monitoring warning wow but the camera resolution it's so good the reverse camera resolution it's it's super super good great view also in this mirror here it's kind of windy outside Kind of windy outside that's why i hear a little bit of wind around the car but overall it's it's a nice day here are some trees so let's drive a little bit slowly Splendid, lovely car and also the turning radius if you want to test it out here it says 12 meters but I feel like it has less than 12 meters I know it's just it's just what I feel Also, of course, the car comes with auto hold, electronic handbrakes here. Um, the climatic system is very easy to reach out here. In the middle, also, we have some physical button uh, to get you directly into the menu. And also, this is the cameras and outside. And also, there, I think I have to clean it out a little bit there. And also, if you turn on the turning signals, you will see. I will show you also in the review video how nice they are. Uh, on the mirrors there anyway um, that was the test drive video guys I will park here the car and we will end up this video the test drive if you have question ask me down below look look how easy it is to park the car you have much better view than in the normal mirrors it's just perfect and i like when you go in reverse guys i like the fact that you don't have to go all the way left you just go and look here in this area it's super super easy to see the things and if you don't see it well there you can see it in the camera here and look how wonderful is the resolution of the cameras incredible the parking button and that was all so that was the test drive guys this is the mirror and also up there and also on the other side this one I think it's a little bit dirtier I have to clean it a little bit from outside but overall um, lovely lovely system I just want to test it out and show you how it's also with those mirrors and to be honest it's much better uh, when you have those digital mirrors than the normal mirrors in terms of view it's much more easier to drive it and in the beginning you need a little bit of time to get used with them but once you get used with them it will be much more easy and you have a better view because they are kind of active mirrors so they kind of zoom in zoom out depending which position and what mode you are with the car so overall great system so great job Hyundai always improve the things technology safety and I'm super impressed uh, yeah as I said before no wonder why Hyundai sells so many 
of this uh, Ionic 5 and I'm sure Ionic 6 will be a great great sell car also that was the video guys i hope you enjoy it if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask thank you very much for watching my videos my rating for this ionic 5 from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. wonderful car great driving feeling great sound insulation very good comfort and a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of comfort and safety features in the car and if you want to see the full review i will have a separate video with the same car if it's not the video already on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come on the channel until next time if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out guys parisi automobile i will leave the link in the description so you can check them out the prices and uh, they are super nice and sometimes they have super huge discounts so uh, definitely worth to check them out so that was the video thank you for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys